month of April told us a few things about the IPO. Something that we knew already, some things that have come back to hit us, some things that you couldn't quite manage in the auction, you know, teams that were not quite clever enough to factor these in, but these have come and April has told us about all these things. And the first thing it has told us is this is becoming a bowling tournament more than ever in its history. Do you have six full bowling options? Look at the teams that are on top. Kolkata Knight Riders on top. Six full bowling options. They give themselves Nathan Coulter-Nile, Chris Wokes, Umesh Yadav, Colin de Grandhomme. They've got four fast bowling options and they've got either Piyush Chawla or Kuldeep Yadav and Sunil Narayan. So when Yusuf Pathan gives them an over, that's a seventh, but six proper bowling options. What have Mumbai Indians done? They've given themselves Lasith Malinga, Jaspreet Bumrah, Mitch McLenahan, sometimes Mitch Johnson plays him, but there's three fast bowlers there. There's Krunal Pandya, there's Harbhajan Singh, and Hardik Pandya some days can give you four overs as well. So six proper bowling options, not four and a bit or five and a bit. Your sixth bowler is still a four overs bowler. If your sixth bowler is a bit bowler, and then one of your top five bowlers has a bad day, then you're going to a bit bowler, which is not much of a solution as well. What are the Sunrisers? Is doing well last year sunrisers told us for the first time how important bowling was and now they've got uh, they've got Mohammad Siraj coming up they've got Siddharth Kaul coming up along with Bhuvneshwar Kumar and Rashid Khan Moses Henriquez is giving you four some days three some days and they've got a spinner like Bipul Sharma or somebody so maybe they've got not 24 overs available to them but they've definitely got 22 23 overs available to them and those are the top three sides look at some of the teams lower down the order they had, well, they had batsmen who could bat and bowlers who could bowl, but it wasn't a big mix. Gujarat Lions struggled with that kind of situation. Delhi Daredevil struggled a little bit with that kind of combination. And we've noticed that if Kings Eleven are starting to come back again, it's because they're giving themselves more bowling options. Gujarat Lions occasionally more bowling options as well. So that, that has been the change that has come about. What else are we, what else are we seeing? The, and, and this is something that the IPL tells us, but not all teams have the benefit of possessing, which is that you need Indians right at the top and Indians right at the bottom. You need Indians in the batting and you need Indians in the bowling as well. And there's a reason, I'm, if you think I'm stating the obvious, I'll tell you why. Look at, say, Kolkata Knight Riders are powered by Gambhir, Utappa and Pandey. Down at the bottom, they've got Chavla, Kuldeep Yadav or Umesh Yadav. Uh, the Mumbai Indians have uh, at the top, they've got Parthiv Patel, Niti Shrana, Rohit Sharma, then they've got Bumra, Harbhajan and the Pandya brothers. They're built around Indian players as well. Now look at the teams that are struggling. Delhi Daredevils built themselves around Indian batting and then they struggled with, uh, with, the, with the bowling as well. Or Gujarat Lions had fantastic batting and then they struggled with the five Indian bowlers and so they had to, their balance went all awry. So, we're discovering that you need to have enough Indians on either side. One team that has discovered that even more important with their balance are RCB. Really, RCB are playing with four Indian players in this tournament. They've got Virat Kohli and Kedar Jadav with the bat. And they've got uh, Yajwender Chahal, Srinath Arvind. Pawan Negi is enjoying a resurgence. That, that's a fifth. But when they were losing all those matches, they only had four Indian bowlers. And so if they packed their side with overseas bowlers, then they suddenly found their Indian batting short. I mean, there was one game in which Stuart Bini batted number five for them. And, and that was always a danger. So if they packed their side with overseas batting, then they discovered with, that they were vulnerable to what was happening last year, which is that they weren't getting Indian bowling cup again. So, so, if you have a team like RCB, which is spending a lot of money on overseas talent, but just struggling with the Indian component, then, then there is a problem as well. We talked briefly about uh, Delhi Daredevils, who've been magnificent with the ball, because they've had, uh, they've had bowlers like Chris Morris, Zaheer Khan, their fast bowling, Pat Cummins, Kagiso Rabada, it's, it's been excellent, but the batting is letting them down. And then you had Gujarat, Gujarat Lions who had McCallum and Finch and Rena and Ishan Kishan has come good and all these people and the bowling was letting them down. So one of the old truths of the game that we knew all along but we find a little difficult to implement is that balance is becoming a big factor. EBI have balance, KKR have balance, SRH are creating that balance with the pool that they have. No team in April has done more with the pool, talent pool that it has than the Sunrisers. And that brings me to one final factor which is 
what is the environment within the dressing room. It's something that you can never judge from the outside, but something tells me that there's a lot that is being done off the field with KKR, MI and SRH that is starting to get reflected and I, that is reflected in their performances. And uh, that's the other thing for, for franchises. Strengthen up your off-field relationship and you're getting uh, fantastic on-field results.